to me, there's, there's two sides to the gospel. But let's just simply say God's side and the human side. Uh, God's side, to me, is mostly information content. Whatever the word gospel is defined in the New Testament, chiefly the, the epistles of Paul or the book of Acts in particular, these three doctrines are almost always in the context. The deity, death, and resurrection of Jesus. Deity, death, resurrection, all the time. Other times, other things come in. Sometimes we say burial. Uh, we see born of a woman. But deity, death, resurrection. So, to me, we're told to believe these facts, that these things are true and occurred and so on. The human side is the faith side. Now, the the Greek words, uh, pistuo, the noun pistis, uh, have to do, it's, it, they're much stronger words than, well, I believe George Washington, the first president of the United States. It has to do with, with commitment. It has to do with, with devoting your life to. Synonyms for the Greek word are often said to be things like commit, surrender, cast yourself upon, that sort of thing. And I think it's probably best expressed by the human decision that we all know about, I do. And when we say I do, we know that it entails a lot, for better or worse, richer or poor, and sickness and health. And although it's not true that it's still death that we part, but there's a lot of commitment there. So I only say a couple words. You could say, believe, I believe in this person. Um, you only say a couple words, but it entails commit, commitment forever, basically. Um, but one more thing I might add here, is that, I mean, I love history. Um, I'm an historian, and I work in that area, and I love data. But we don't, the illustration I gave, deity, death, resurrection, I do. We don't say I do to the data. We say I do to the person about whom the data are true. So it would be like saying when you're married, you, you don't say I do to good-looking, kind, good companion, etc. you say I do to the person who embodies those characteristics. I think it's like that with the gospel too. You say t I do to the Jesus who is deity, died for our sins, was buried and rose again from the dead. So to me, that's the gospel in a nutshell. God's side, our side, and the question is, is a person ready to be committed?